Today we are going to discuss most important anti-cancer drug and that is the trastuzumab. In this lecture, we will cover the mechanism of trastuzumab, clinical uses of the trastuzumab and the different adverse effects of the trastuzumab. So let's start. First of all, trastuzumab is basically a monoclonal antibody. It means that we can use the antibody against the tumor cells. So trastuzumab has another name and that is the Herceptin. Herceptin is an other name of the trastuzumab. And this is basically a monoclonal antibodies. Okay. Before we start the mechanism of trastuzumab or you can say Herceptin, we will discuss the erythroblastic leukemia viral oncogene receptor and that will be the ERBB. Okay. These are basically the transmembrane receptor. It means that these receptors present across the cell membrane. Okay. These are basically the trans membrane receptors okay so basically erbb erythroblastic leukemia viral oncogene receptor has different types erbb1 2 3 4 erbb1 also known as her1 human epidermal growth factor receptor 1 okay similarly erbb2 also known as her2 erbb3 also known as her3 erbb4 also known as her4 here are basically the different names of the same thing okay important thing her1 also known as epidermal growth factor receptor and the HER2 has an other name that is the NEU N -E -U, N-E-U but important thing which you have to remember HER2 is used for humans but N-E-U is used for rodents because in rodent it was first uh, discovered in the glioblastoma that is the neural tumor that's why on the basis of this we call new in rodents and her to in the humans okay so here are basically the different receptor proteins okay our may most important receptor protein will be the her to human epidermal growth factor receptor so her to has ability to dimerize with itself as well as with the other her one three and four okay i am saying that here is the her two receptor okay now it can combine with one another here is the her two now in that case both her two molecules combine or dimerized then it will be homo homo dimerization why because same her two molecules dimerize that is the homo dimerization if the same her two molecules dimerize okay but if her two dimerize with either her one three and four then it will be called the hetero dimerization it means that one molecule will be the her two her two and other can also be the her one three and four now in that case they will be called the hetero means different so that's the most important thing but in this lecture we will discuss the homo dimerization of her two it means that both her two molecules dimerize because dimerization is very much important after the dimerizations of the receptor then the signal transduct inside the cell if there is no dimerizations of the receptor there is no signal transduction inside the cell so if you see here 
here are basically the two molecules of her two her two and again this is also the her two now in inactive form they are actually separate when they dimerized between each other then what will happen then the if this uh, if i say that the, here is the ligand here is the ligand if the ligand bind to receptor her to receptor then after binding of the ligand the her to receptor dimerized okay that's the most important thing and after dimerization of the her to that is the homo dimerization because same her to molecules dimerize you will see the signal starts transducting inside the cell okay and it will go towards the dna okay and ultimately it will activate the genes that are actually involved in the cell division cell division cell survival okay they will activate the genes that are actually involved in the cell division cell survival okay and most important they can also induce the angiogenesis formations of the blood vessels okay that's the most important thing so if you see here this is the normal process that actually happens in different cells but specifically the breast cells okay so when you see the her2 receptor over expressed on the cell in the next case you see in the previous one you will see the two her2 homodimerization but in the next case you will see the 1 2 3 4 her2 homodimerization it means that our expression of the her2 when you see the our expression of the her2 then what will happen okay ligands bind to this her2 against all the her2 receptor and the signal transduct from all the sides all the sides okay then what will happen then in that case you will see the cell proliferation cell division will enhance so it means that cell rapidly proliferate in that case because the lot of signals comes from the her2 receptor okay and you see the lot of angiogenesis angiogenesis because the cells get the nutrients from the blood vessel when there is lot of angiogenesis blood vessels around the cells then the cell will get the nutrients from the blood vessel so it's mean that blood vessels is also important in that case so that's the most important thing you will see the lot of nutrients lot of cell division after the signal transduction so our main focus is to stop the signal transduction if we are successful in stopping the cell transduction we will be successful in stopping the cell division and ultimately cure the tumor in that case okay so in that case we will take the trastuzumab herceptin that is the monoclonal antibodies so actually in that case you will see the monoclonal antibodies prevent the homodimerization of her2 when there is no dimerization there is no signal transduction in all these cases you will see the attachment of the monoclonal antibodies trastuzumab then trastuzumab prevent the dimerization now there is no signal transduction okay when there is no signal transduction there is no cell division cell division will stop there is no cell proliferation and there is no angiogenesis and your blood vessel formation will also be stopped so in that case the you will see the deficiency of nutrients okay that is the one thing and you can also see the stoppage of the cell division because there is no signal transduction so ultimately we can destroy this cell by the apoptosis now you will see the destruction of the cell
so that is the important mechanism i am repeat in normal situation you will see the normal expression of the her2 and there is normal uh, proliferation of the cell and normal angiogenesis but but when the tumor cell start expressing lower over expressions of the her2 then in that case you will see the signal lot of signal transduct inside the cell okay when someone take the trastuzumab trastuzumab prevent the dimerization of the her2 when you see uh, the stoppage of the dimerization of the her2 there is no signal transduction and ultimately cell go toward the death apoptosis so this is the mechanism of the trastuzumab if we discuss the adverse effect if someone take the trastuzumab then what will you see the adverse effect that is related to the trastuzumab first one is the myocardio myocardiopathy okay heart dysfunction heart failure can also be seen when someone take the trastuzumab okay pulmonary toxicities can also be the adverse effects of the trastuzumab pulmonary toxicity and you can also see the nausea and the vomiting like symptoms like nausea vomiting okay and you can also see the headache headache can also be seen in the usage of the trastuzumab patients and you can also see the infusion related fevers and the chills infusion related chills and the fever so actually trastuzumab is given through the iv route so in that case you will see the uh, infusion related reactions chills and the fever and important precautions in the trastuzumab or you can say herceptin please please do not take trastuzumab in the pregnancy why because it will create the embryo fetal toxicity embryo fetal toxicity it is dangerous for the baby so that's why trastuzumab is prohibited in the pregnancy okay and next you see neutropenia after taking trastuzumab you will see the low amount of the neutrophil it's mean that uh, low amount of the neutrophil uh, go, go toward the infections so please check always neutrophil by the cbc in the cbc you can easily check the neutrophil count because neutrophil count can low by taking the trastuzumab or you can say herceptin okay and last most important pre medications before taking the uh, trastuzumab that is antihistamine antihistamine to reduce the allergy related to the trastuzumab or you can also take the acetaminophen for the fever so these are basically the important precautions related to the trastuzumab or you can say herceptin so this is all about the herceptin which is the monoclonal antibodies if we still have any question you may ask in the comment section thank you so much